All right, y'all. What is up? What is up? What is up? Back at it again, trying to see to let you know what's going on with the old wrecked Zephyr here. What are we doing? Well, at first, we thought about drilling out some welds and completely changing this B pillar. Uh, spoke with Terry Harris. Um, he's actually a guy that does the Killer Street Race at Elk Creek Dragway, and they're going to put it on frame machine, see if we can bend the, they're pretty confident that they can get this thing out and where it needs to, got the doors from the four door. And so today, what are we working on is the rear end. We're gonna get this rear gear out of this unit and get it on, uh, get the new gear inside of it so that we can move this thing around because we have a date set for this Friday to take this bad boy down there and hopefully we are fixed up so next week i'm technically on call for work but we may be able to uh test some things out at some point next week um that's the plan so i will have the doors and have some stuff going still got to fix some stuff in the back um with the uh the deck lid i'm unsure um looking at it we do it definitely that so they are going to be able to sit this thing on the frame, take some measurements, make sure everything's good. So, all right, let's get to it. I'm going to get back here in the back and get this unit, get it going. You know what I'm saying? So let's, uh, got to go get a couple more tools. We got some sockets, some zip ties, some gloves. We got the new gear. Um, the pinion is actually at the house. I have the, the bearing here. Um, I've got Perry got me an extra bearing just to be safe. I wasn't able to get that today for him. Had to work this morning. Um, shout out Harvey's Auto Parts here in Princeton. And But we've got to make sure that there are no pinion shims on this deal. So I'm going to pull this gear out, take a look at it, and go from there. But we should have everything pretty much here other than the pinion gear. But... I think I can do all of that at the house and then bring it back. We'll be good to go. So, all right, let's get this nail going. Get this bad boy. Let's just get it out first because that could be fun. So let's get it. So we got the uh, axles and spool out. Thankfully, everything looks good there. Um, right here she be. In fact, the ring gear looks all right. I'm sorry. Yeah, ring gear looks good. Pinion almost messed the case up. Almost. So we got to get in here and get this thing. Can y'all see that? Make sure y'all can see that. See in there? If I can get it to spot focus down in there, right there. Not the best. Bunch of sludge in the, uh, hold on. Bunch of sludge in the case from all this. Um, man, she, the, 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 that pinion gear ate it though. So, all right, we got to pull drive shaft, get this pinion out and see what we're looking like. Getting there though, getting there. She's she's nasty back here. I gotta get a bunch of uh, bunch of brake clean and get this deal cleaned up because she's gross. So, all right, let's get it. All right, so we got some things figured out here. We got the spool off. Here is our damage. Honestly, this gear is in not bad condition, but that just obviously tire shape. Know what I'm saying? Now check out our pinion. Let me get over here. Check that unit out. Shoo! Now that one had seen better days. That is for sure. So uh, we've got all of that out. 
Um, the good thing is, hold on, let me take this glove off. Gloved up half the time. Good thing is, should go back pretty much exact. Shouldn't be too, too bad, honestly. Um, right now, I'm going to go get, we're gonna go get some brake clean, some towels, we're gonna get some RTV, some gray RTV for this thing. And I think that's it. I pretty much have everything else. Oh, some Loctite, I gotta get Loctite. And then I'm gonna see where we're at, see what time it is, different things like that, because the pinion gear with the bearing, nope, bearing is here. So I need to make sure that I bring the bearing with me. So I gotta take the bearing, take it home, and try to install it on that uh, pinion. So I'm actually gonna tell the wife to go ahead and uh, put the oven on bake, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, let's go to Advanced Auto since it's the fastest, closest one. So let's run there real quick. And then, oh, nine inch outside gear O-rings or out, what is it? Outside bearing, outer bearing O-rings. I'm going to see if we got any of those. So, all right, let's get to it. Go get some stuff. All right. So we are trying to get this pinion bearing. So this pinion has been sitting in the free freezer for the last, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, that does look a little used. Ooh, that's cold. So, we've had this in here for the last 30 minutes on 400 degrees. It smells like burnt metal. Think it'll work? Good job. Watch yourself. Steve! <laughs> Check that out. Now, watch it. Watch it frost. Look at it frosting. Watch this. Watch it right here. Watch that ring come up as it heats that metal up. Mm -hmm. They can't see it. Huh? I can't show it. Yeah, we can. You can watch it. See the discoloration? See? See it go up? This color I'm touching it. That's awesome. All right. Sweet. So, we're good there. Hopefully that will not go on there. But So, we're good there. That went on rather well. So, it is worth having that in the freezer for the last... However many months. Show the dog. Should we hard launch the puppy? Show the dog. Say hello. So this is Oakley. She's the newest King of the Valley Motorsports family member, right? Oakley Bell. All right. So now we're going to take this back to the shop and put it in. Okay, now you can look at it because you realized how it was cold down good. there. All right, to save you guys the boredom of all this, the time lapses and all this stuff, we are down on the ground, ready to rip, ready to go. We're getting ready to, oh, wait, wait, I suck it. We still need doors. Yeah, also the... Uh, our port alignment, we're gonna have to, before we go anywhere, get this alignment situated, because it is straight. Y'all ready for this? Straight, which I guess maybe we should put the, push the car down a little. This side, not so much. So we may have something bent or broken in here. Do we see anything bent or broken? I don't. Oh well, all right, let's get this thing fired up. Right. 
loaded up the old wounded the old wounded zephyr down but not out we still gotta figure i gotta do something better about this back deck lid situation um the other one is up there you can actually see it just a little bit the the old amazon push lock deals aren't working very good anymore probably gonna have to zeus it do something else we don't have to get in there too much anymore due to no fuel and uh battery charges up here so we gotta figure something out to we'll probably zeus it honestly it's probably our best bet unless i could put the factory one on here but the only problem with that I don't have a place for hinges anymore so yeah all right load it up we got the new doors loaded up with our air conditioning and uh we're gonna go get her fixed up oh yay i'm very excited runs good so maybe we can get it to go fast here very soon all right boys i'm dirty i'm a mess cars loaded up I'm not going to stick a uh, camera in Terry and them's face when we take it tomorrow. Thankfully, the rain stopped for us this evening to get this thing loaded up. But thankfully, the Zephyr wasn't too terrible condition. I was able to, thankfully, thanks to uh, Eric Strobel, I had a gear sitting here at the house. And uh, it, went, it went together reasonably well. Uh, we got new axle, new axle bearing seals, uh, fix the leaks on that. Uh, we still have to take it. I think before we go do too much, I'm going to take it to, uh, Zach Klontz, have him do the alignment. We're going to pull the struts back to have the appropriate caster, the appropriate travel. And, uh, so that should be pretty much it. Um, going to build the thing, get the, the deck lid situated, and then we'll be good to go. So guys really appreciate it. Uh, I know there was a little bit of confusion. Some people didn't watch the entire video, but just a little update on Justin Gravely's car, the Vega wagon. We sourced an entire wagon with a couple of extras and some things. I'll put a picture of it here. Um, I took care of that for him. Uh, don't think that some people understood that I wasn't going to shove a camera into old dude's face after me, you know, pretty much ruining his day and his beautiful car. Um, I let him know in person right then and there that I was taking care of him and that I would make sure he was, you know, right. So, and that's still the case. So we were able to, I don't know how we found a wagon and the guy like brought it to him was super cool with things and uh, we were a little scared about that but thankfully he now has sort of a little donor car if he ever has any more issues and uh, it's all been a learning experience for me when my first wrecks into somebody else and uh, I know that's like the the risk that you take I wouldn't expect anybody to fix my car if they ran into me but I just know that me taking away his car or you know even though technically i mean he won the next day that was awesome but me hurting that car i have to make sure that he is put back correctly and at least make an attempt to to help him out that that's my that's my goal um because i, I don't want him to be out a car or you know I, he had a i love the green everything and it's a very cool uh you know wagons are are sweet the vega wagons are sweet and those uh vents in the quarter are you know those are super cool like sort of iconic to those cars so i don't know i'm i'm just a little different when it comes to i, I i'm not going to just say oh that's racing and just leave him hang him out to dry i'm i'm not going to do that so uh, no no not not ever going to do that I, if you do that to somebody I mean, especially wrecking there, you know, if it was both of us, if, if both of us were in racing in a, in a match, whatever you want to call it, in, in rounds, in, you know, finals or whatever the case may be, and that happened and we were both out of shape and it just, you know, we, whatever, you know, that's a little different, but test and tune, 
I should have left with him. That was 100% my fault. It wasn't like something gave out, in my opinion, I don't think anything gave out in the car. And I know I've already talked about this once, but I'm going to talk about it again because I want it just known. Like, I it 100% my fault, and I'm going to make sure that he is whole. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Uh, car was drivable. We didn't break anything in his rear end or, it, you know, it didn't lock the motor up. I didn't take out the entire car. We didn't total anything. Thankfully, it was really best case scenario for both of us in a way, horrible situation either way, should have never happened. And it was 100% my fault. But so just so all of you guys know on here that he's being taken care of and I'm helping in any way, shape, or form I can. I've had and a sh huge shout out. I had people throw me, uh, we had cars from Texas and Oklahoma and all over the place. People were reaching out and found some good ones, by the way. There are some decent rollers out there, especially in the Midwest, um, that you can get in Vega wagons. So uh, we found quarters, we found whole cars. I mean, it was, it's really awesome. I can't believe that within less than two weeks, uh, we were able to find him a whole donor, and thankfully for what we got it for, he got possibly a Dana 60 with it, so maybe we may end up, he, he may have some money, if whatever he wants to do with that, you know, cut the quarter out, sell parts off of that car, and maybe help with the, the rest of the stuff, so, but that's all up to him, but anyway, I can help him, I am, so, um, but shout out to the racing community, shout out to you guys, I mean, it is, uh, awesome the the amount of support and things that we get so enough this is like six minutes of talking head i apologize guys but just wanted to jump into that and let you guys know um i'm really thankful um i really thank the lord uh for his blessing on, on me and justin in that situation i feel like his hand guided that car to not be in a bad situation uh, huge shout out to chris who welded my cage together um he he did an excellent job and that really saved everything. So I'm really happy. And a huge shout out to the guys who are going to uh, help me fix this thing. Um, I'm really, really pumped. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you hadn't. I'd really like to hit 10,000 sub subs this uh, upcoming year. That would be awesome. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't tryna grow any stunt for you. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. for the.